Let's take a look at linking and embedding your presentation content. So you have two options. The first is to link to your content. What you're going to do is type some text, for example, my presentation or the title of your presentation. Then you're going to select the text like I've done here, and then you're going to use the link button to add a URL. Copy and pasting would be easy, so you just copy and paste in the URL from your presentation to here. I'll pretend this one, okay, because that's my tiki taki. And then I would say select blank. This means it'll open up a new window instead of taking people out of the workshop. And then simply say insert. Now you might wonder where do I get these URLs from? So let's switch over. Let's say you wanted to share your poplet, then you could get the URL here, or you could get it in the share by clicking public link, which there it is right there, copy and paste. So I could copy this, switch back to my discussion forum post, paste it in, select blank, and insert, just like that. So all the text that I selected before I clicked on the link button, which is now grayed out because no text is selected, but that all became the link. And now let's say I didn't want to link all that text. I could click anywhere in there and say break the link. And then I just want to do my presentation. Click on the link, paste it in, choose blank, and say insert. So that's creating a link to your content. Again, you want to look for a share button or simply copy and paste the URL from the address bar in your browser. That will generally work. Now your second option is embedding the presentation. That's making the presentation actually show up right on the page. So this is a link to it. And the link takes us to the website where the presentation is. Embedding puts the presentation right here. So the way you wanna do that is you wanna copy the embed code from the presentation or from the content and then you're going to switch to HTML mode in your discussion. And that you do by clicking on this HTML link, which brings up this box. And then you would paste it in wherever you want it. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. We'll go back to Poplet. And here I was, I'm at the share. If you recall, I clicked on the share link and I clicked on share a public link. Now, notice it also has embed here. So I simply click on that, okay? And I copy, I use my Command C or my Control C, depending on if you're a Mac or a PC. And I copy this and then I go back to, I'm in the HTML source editor for that discussion forum and I simply, paste in that code. You have to be in HTML mode, otherwise it'll strip that code out, okay? And then you click on update and it may not show up while you are actually uh, editing the discussion forum, but if I post it to the forum, then you'll see And it'll take a minute. There you go. It's loading. It takes a little bit of time. That's why there's all this extra white space here. And there's the poplet. So that's how I embedded it. Now I'm going to edit this. 
Okay, so once again, you can link, and to do that, you highlight some text that you want to become the link. When you do that, this link button appears. If nothing is highlighted, do you see how that link button is grayed out? Okay, so you have to highlight the text that you want to become the link. You click on the link button, you put in your URL, and you put in, change it to blank. This makes it nicer for everybody to click on links so they don't get taken out of the course room. Okay, and then you just say insert. Or you can embed, which is to put the presentation material right in the forum. And to do that, you need to copy the embed code, you need to be in HTML mode, and you need to paste that embed code into this editor and then say update. And then it either will display or not, but as soon as you, while you're in edit mode, but then as soon as you hit a post, it might take a minute, but then it will show up. All right, so that's linking and embedding. Now let's look at our four featured tools and we'll see Poplet, if you remember, there's the share. I'm gonna cancel this. There's the share button, which brings up either the link or the embed code, which you copy and then paste as appropriate. In BrainShark, forgive me, I wasn't logged in. In BrainShark, you go to your presentation by clicking on it, then you get the embed or link. And the link is right here. That's the one you use if you're creating a link or if you want the embed code, you choose the size. Make sure to click on use obje object embed code. Okay, so it starts object. If you don't select that, it starts iframe and it won't work in Moodle. So use object, select that, copy it, and paste it into the HTML source editor in the forum. If you are using TikiTaki, the free version only allows you to use a URL. So you want to just copy and paste up through the title of your timeline, like mine's called Bethany's Intro, so the URL, all you need is up to there. Copy it, paste it as a link. And finally, VoiceThread. The VoiceThread that you wish to share, be looking at it. And then you can click on the menu and click on Share. And you can copy the link to share it. All right, or you can embed, you select the text right there, just, and you see as soon as I clicked on it, it copied it, so you don't have to do the command C, and then you would paste it. Now the thing about VoiceThread or any of these other tools, for example, is you need to make sure that when you're sharing, that your share settings are set appropriately, uh, which is to say that they are viewable by others. And the same with your brain shark, for example. If it doesn't, here it says this content can be viewed by anyone, all right, because I made it active. If I hadn't made it active, it would say this content can't be viewed, make it active. And so you'd have to make it active before you could share. So just remember that most content on the web, before you share it, you generally have to find where you're giving it permission to share. And then you get the link or the embed code. All right.
I hope that helps. Enjoy.